In the last episode, we learned about some basic terms in the semiconductor ecosystem. In this video, we are jumping into more specialized terms found in semiconductors. If the CPU is the brain of a computer, what does the same job for smartphones or tablets? It is the mobile AP. Mobile AP, or Mobile Application Processor, is a system semiconductor that can operate the necessary OS and applications and controls various devices, interfaces with one chip. As technology advanced, NPU, or Neural Processing Units, has also been developed. NPU is a type of processor that works in very much the same way as the human brain, as it is capable of handling multiple operations simultaneously in real time, like our brain's neural network does. NPU is optimized for simultaneous matrix operations. If CPU, Mobile AP, and NPU are the brain, image sensors and DDI are the eyes. Image sensors convert image data received through a camera lens into a digital signal so that we can view the image through a display device. DDI, or Display Driver IC, is a device that operates displays like LCD and other similar devices. In one pixel of a display, there are sub-pixels that display the three primary colors, red, green, and blue. Every sub-pixel has a transistor, and DDI is what controls this transistor. Now, let's look at terms for memory semiconductor. First, Memory semiconductors are divided into volatile memory and non-volatile memory. Once the computer's power is off, the data on volatile memory vanishes. The most common volatile memories are the DRAM. It offers a large storage capacity and fast speed, and therefore is mainly used as the main memory for computers or mobile devices. In non-volatile memory, the data saved does not disappear, even when the power is turned off. NAND flash is an example of non-volatile memories. NAND flash is used as a storage device for various mobile devices and electronics such as SSD for a laptop and USB drives. The two episodes of the Semiconductor Glossary are over. Now, do you feel more comfortable with semiconductor terms? If today's video was informative, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. See you in our next video.